everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's the day that I fly out to Turkey, ready for my gastric surgery. I will be having the surgery tomorrow. So my plan for today is to get to the airport. Uh, I'm literally just around the corner from it as I stayed in a hotel overnight last night. I'll be honest with you, I didn't get any sleep. So I've just been watching YouTube videos all night uh, about the surgery, what to expect in general, as well as general YouTube stuff really. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take you with me on my walk through the airport and when I reach the other side same thing coming out of the airport when I'm at the transfer and then all, all to the hotel in Turkey so I'll bring you along as I said and I'll see you on the other side bye so all checked in and just about to have a spot of breakfast I think I can see my plane over there somewhere but yeah I'm here and now just waiting to be boarded in about an hour and a half, I suppose. So, see you soon. And I've got a meet to transfer me across to where I'm going to. So, see you soon. Here we go. Sitting the table. I was going to sit there, but it's raining, so I won't. <laughs> so, I'll sit back here. <clears throat> it's quite nice. Well, I'm absolutely wiped out. <laughs> so, got to the hotel uh, about. 8 p.m. local time, I think. 7.30 ish, I can't remember. Um, when we landed in Istanbul, had to wait for the transfer. Um, you'll see pictures in a second on that. I'll put them in there. And then waited for a few others that, that were transferring from elsewhere. And we were then taken to the hotel, the most scariest <laughs> uh, transfer ride ever. It was pouring down with rain lightning thunder you name it it was happening and the motorway driving which uh the driver <laughs> was a bit of a maniac i think but it was fine otherwise obviously i made it in one piece um got in checked in uh was able to meet a couple of others that were having surgery here as well uh they had surgery a couple of days ago i was able to have a chat with them about what to expect which was pretty cool and then grab something to eat because I was starving, hadn't eaten since eight o'clock this morning. Um, it's now what you're looking at, 6.30ish uh, UK time. Uh, they're in Turkey are three hours ahead. And yeah, so had something to eat. I'm now just gonna have a shower, go to bed because I'm gonna be up early tomorrow, ready for the transfer to the clinic to sort out everything that needs to go for tomorrow. So, 
I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. Today's the day. It's surgery day. It's just gone 9 a.m. So just got to wait about half an hour or so before being picked up, taken to the clinic to sort out everything that needs to be done. So I'll be having my weights uh, checked, um, blood tests and things like that. Once that's all done, they'll be transferred from there to the hospital. And it'll be a case of just waiting on when I'll be going for surgery. And I will let you know when that is, as and when. Hey guys, so I've just made it to the hospital and just had my blood taken as well and filled in a couple more forms I needed to do. So it's just a case of waiting for when I get called for surgery. And I will try and do a video, a small one, just an update to say that I'm awake. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm all gowned up. Got my uh, stockings on. Just waiting to be called now. So I will see you on the other side. Hi guys, so it's uh, my first day after surgery. So day one post-surgery. Um, feeling okay. Um, had my leak test first thing this morning. That was weird. Weird tasting liquid. So obviously make sure everything was fine. So that was all good. Then after that, I was able to actually drink water for the first time since Monday morning at like 4 a.m. So it was like the liquid of the gods. It was amazing to be able to do that. <laughs> but um, everything's gone well so far. Uh, I've had my dressing changed a couple of times and just been in and out of sleep uh, the whole time. That's why I haven't been able to sort of do anything before this because I was just wiped out after surgery yesterday. And just walking around at the moment because that's what they want us to do. Just walk around, keep everything moving. Been doing walk, uh, laps of the corridors as well, which is what they want us to do. Helps us with the recovery. Um, I'm going to get down for a little bit of a snooze because I'm wiped out from doing the walking. That's one thing you'll find is doing a small walk does take it out of you. Same as a drinking water. Uh, you can only do small sips. And even just a small sip fills you right up. It's the most bizarre feeling considering that a week ago I could eat a four course meal in no time. <laughs> but I'll keep you guys updated as to what's going on. And yeah, speak to you tomorrow. How are you doing guys? It's day three post up and today I had my dream removed. Uh, I also spoke to the nutritionist where I got all the information that I needed as well as the vitamins the protein powder that they offer, extra dressings that I can take to the hotel with me when I leave the hospital tomorrow. Um, and everything's been great here. Um, the only thing for me is be prepared for the gas pain. Oh my God, I did not expect it to be that bad, but for me it has been. So I've just been walking a lot as much as I can, drinking as much water as I can. Um, and because I've got the protein shakes, I can now start taking those tomorrow as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, just a couple of days more here in Istanbul and then I'll be flying home. Cheers. And that's the end of my surgery journey. I had my surgery back on Tuesday. I got back to the hotel after it on Friday. It's now Saturday and just waiting to be picked up to be taken to the airport. So... It's been a great experience, uh, weirdly, but um, I couldn't fault anything that Apira have done. Uh, for those of you that are just starting out, good luck. Those that are flying out as well soon, again, good luck. Um, the only thing I would say is be prepared for the first couple of days. You do feel rough, but after that, I promise you, you start to feel better. So yeah. I will update every, everyone when I do my first weigh-in. Okay. And there you have it. That was my first week uh, from weight loss surgery. So I thought I'd give you an update with regards to my weight loss. So on Tuesday was obviously officially seven days since I had my surgery. And when I started, I was 126.8 kilos, which works out at 19 stone... 13 pounds something um i weighed myself yesterday morning so as i said tuesday morning and i'm now 120 kilos on the dot 
uh, which means that is a, a loss of 15, sorry, 14 pounds and 15 ounces. So just shy of 15 pound in a week, which is just ridiculous. So yeah, it's working. Um, and to give an update on other things as well, uh, I've upped my protein intake as well. So I'm having protein shake as well as uh, protein juice. Um, and I've been able to eat tomato soup, which is fantastic. I'm enjoying that. And I'm hopefully going to be trying some Weetabix very soon as well. So just to kind of up the texture and consistency and see how I go. But yeah, that's the full update on the whole week. And my next update will be probably either next Monday or Tuesday or somewhere around there. Uh, just explaining how it's gone for this week and my next weigh-in. So thank you very much. And if you do have any questions or uh, any tips, anything you want to comment on, please do so in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, guys.